Hey, it's Tender Support. I'm Tender Sausage. Here we go. All right, so we're looking at an issue today from our friend uh, Mario23, uh, a.k.a. Wing Wong 2. Um, and what we're looking at, we're just looking at some general setup stuff. Um, so right now, you can see on his stream, uh, he is uh, live on YouTube and uh, running a slideshow. Slideshow's kind of out of proportion, so... My first thought here is that source, we'll have to figure out what's going on with that source because each one of those images has different dimensions. And so what you'll want to do is figure out how that scene's configured so that uh, it preserves the aspect ratio or the, or the um, it constrains the images from stretching to the, the maximum width. Um, that may be something that is a preference in that, uh, in that plugin or whatever. Um, we can dig into that, but uh, I wanted to address your more kind of pressing issue, which was what? Uh, oh, we were setting up your your resolution. Okay, so that's actually fairly easy, um, and I'm going to switch over to my stream PC here real quick to cover that. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to look at you. Well, not that one, not that one, not that one, not that one, not that one. I have too many scenes. Too many scenes. All right, so what we've got. Uh, the first thing we want to do in setting up your stuff, um, let's just get that back to where it should be. Perfect. So what we want to do is go into settings. And when we're in settings here, uh, the first thing we want to do is configure your output. So uh, what we'll do is go to output. And uh, for streaming, um, uh, with your resolution, I think I had made a recommendation of changing this to, um, uh, CBR. You have, you have an NVIDIA, uh, graphics card. Uh, you had a six sixty. you had a 660 GTX, I think. Um, and that should have the NVIDIA encoder on it. So, um, whatever you do here, uh, just make sure that you choose NVENC for your, for your option, for the encoder. Um, don't rescale here. We're going to do the rescaling on the the, the video tab. Uh, if you do it here, um, it, it does it differently, and it, it I, in my experience, there's a performance impact. So I don't I don't rescale here. Um, CBR uh, and for you, you want this to be at 2500. Um, we're going to start there. We can go up from there, um, but I think that's probably the the like base. Um, for the rest of your stuff, I would probably drop this down, uh, maybe to performance or max performance, uh, and then your your main uh, your profile here set it to main. Um, don't worry about look ahead or visual tuning, um, and uh, for B frames, I mean you could put four in there, that'd be fine. If you if you chose look ahead, it'll ignore that B frames field, so you. You might want to choose look ahead if you're using a lot of dynamic content, but if I recall, you're doing like skate and uh, Microsoft Flight Sim and some other stuff. So I'm if it's not really dynamic content, if you're not pushing a lot of motion, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, let's start there. Let's start there for your, your stream settings. Now, when it comes to your output, uh, the first thing we want to do is make sure that your base canvas resolution is set to that uh, 1280 by 720. And then your output scaled resolution, that's where you're going to want that to be at 480. Um, so <clears throat> just choose that. I, I can't right now because I'm recording. Um, I'm recording this video on my stream PC. Um, so if I try to uh, if I try to change this, it won't let me. But you just need to pick the 480 resolution. And then for your downscale filter, I don't know, try by linear first. Like, just just try by linear. I run Lanskos, it does 36 samples. It's because I have the horsepower to do it. Um, with yours, try by linear and see how that comes out. And set that integer FPS value at 30 frames per second. And uh, we'll, we'll start with those settings. Uh, for the actual stream. Now, going back to your, going back to your stream. Um, now, looking at your stream again, um, I think that uh, I think that the source issue is is something separate. So, don't worry about um, 
don't worry about the image stuff. We'll, we'll fix that next round. First round, we want to make sure that you get the, the streaming performance that you want. Um, doing a slideshow like this isn't going to give us a really good like feel for how your computer's performing because it's just pulling up, you know, 100K, maybe a meg of content at a time, and it's static. It's all the same pixels every single time, every frame. So it's not having to redraw a bunch of stuff. Um, you know, as, as your computer renders stuff and then encodes it to, to be sent out, uh, that's where the performance impact needs to be measured. So um, what I would recommend at this point is to find your most active content. I would probably suggest that Microsoft Flight Sim X Steam Edition because that is, um, it's a pretty intense game. It's got a lot of textures. Um, so I would start with that one and then um, take a look at the uh, performance metrics in your stats. Um, you can pull those up in OBS. I'll get back over there real quick. Um, so I have my, uh, I have my stats docked in the bottom of my of my app here in OBS. Uh, yeah, this this can give you some insight into how your computer is being leveraged. You can also use some performance measurement tools like um, HW Info or um, what's that other one that's really popular. I can't remember, but even even the task manager, there's a performance monitor in there that you can go and see the graphs and what uh, what the performance impact of each process is on your computer, um, and see from a numbers perspective what's going on. But also, you know, you'll want to see the visual output on the platform as well. So, um, all right. So yeah, um, I hope that helps. This was a long. Anyway, I hope that helps.